eight, Musei al Haji Abdul Sereko, represented by his son, the Honorable Mohammed Sereko, the Honorable Justices and Judges of the Courts of Judicature here present, our colleagues, the members of Parliament, all mourners in your respective capacities, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Obua Dennis Amson. I represent a jury county in a left home district. I also serve as the government chief whip in the government of the Republic of Uganda. My brother and friend, Honorable Sereko, we knew each other long, long time ago. And I want to state that I could not miss to come and stand with him because our friendship comes a long way. Our brotherhood comes a long way. And in the culture of the place where I come from, we have a strong belief that if an elder like the late al Aji Abdul Nsereko passes on and leaves behind a child or children, we believe he has rested, but he lives alive in his child or in his children. I did not have the opportunity to meet the father to my friend and brother, Honorable Muhammad Sereko. But I can state without any fear of contradiction that it appears Honorable Sereko has all the traits and characteristics of his late father. If you talk about being straight, Sereko will always be straight. I have been with him. We have made laws together on the floor of parliament. We have played football together and what has united us up to now is not the time we have spent in parliament. But the years we have played together as football players under the parliamentary football team. Sereko is our striker. For me, I am a utility player. I play number seven in the wing. I play striking, we partnered with him. But as of now, I have settled in midfield. As a midfielder, number eight. So when you hear Honorable Sereko is scoring goals, the one feeding him is the midfielder. And uh, there are some Luganda words that we learned, personally I learned. From Honorable Sereko, I learned the word, Dayo. Because when we are playing, you will hear Sereko, Obua Dayo, Obua Dayo. The other word I learned from Sereko is uh, Kakana. You know, at times in football, while you're on the pitch, you find everybody is like trembling. The man will be saying, please, kakana, kakana. So those are some of the few words I have learned. And I write that whenever he prays for us, because I have most in my constituency. Normally, I am invited. Normally, I pray with the Muslims. One thing I like so much from my Muslim brothers and sisters is takbir. Whenever I pray with them, so he's right. So, Honorable Sereko, we are all here at this very, very trying moment to you and family to stand with you. You have seen the number of members of parliament, serving and former, who are here with you. I am aware the right honorable speaker was here, but the right honorable deputy speaker is out of the country, and many more will continue coming. 
Muse has fought a good fight. Muse has made his contribution. We are here both to mourn, but also to celebrate the life well lived. I have come along with uh, my wife, Mrs. Caroline Ogua, who is here, to condole with you. I want to say thank you so much, all who are here. The color I put on is a good one, and to the voters, this is now to the voters of Kampala Central. <laughs> that in this young man called Honorable Muhammad Sereko lives the traits, lives the characteristics of his late dad. His late dad made an enormous contribution. For us to hear that one year from now, two years from now, after burying al aji Abdul Sereko, the people of Kampala Central are saying no to his son. I believe that even Hala will not forgive you. People. <laughs> even Hala will not forgive you. What I'm saying is, Sereko 2021, Sereko 2026, Sereko in Parliament, we call him the landlord because the Parliament of Uganda sits in Kampala Central. And you have a good name of Parliament. I want to end by wishing the late Al Aji Abdul Sereko final rest in the hands of Allah. Allah, Allah.